This is Chessmaster on the PS2. Um, I received this in the post about a week ago, and I paid ten pound for it. Um, but to be honest, it's 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 not really that good. Um, I'll explain why in the uh, gameplay uh, footage part of the video. But um, you know, you can enter chess championships. Um, it's got a great tutorial on it. And you've got free 3D battlefield chess. There's a desk and the uh, and the manual. So yeah, let's uh, let's take a look at Chessmaster on the PS2. I do like the music. So this is the main menu, and I'll just show you the, the main things on it. This is a chess school, and it will, um, it's a great tutorial, it will teach you the basics obviously, but it also teaches you really advanced um, strategies. It will, teach you, it will teach you how to become a great uh, chess player. Here's There's a loads of lessons. C3. Note the squares to which it can move. This time its movement is hindered by two of its own pieces, on b4 and e5. A bishop can never jump over one of its own pieces. We'll move this bishop to d4. You can also check out famous games and there's 825 of them. They're not all as ancient as what you're seeing there. There's a, there's a lot of modern ones as well. you just got to scroll through them all. Um, anyway, you can you can check out the story for each of the for each of the uh, games. And you can check out the moves as well, and every time you press next, it will show you the game move by move. So uh, that's a pretty interesting feature. I'll show you a quick game. Now uh, if you press L1 you can enter a, uh, a menu and you can choose between loads of different chess boards. But the thing is is that all of the chess boards except for that 2D one there and this is like my, one of my main problems with the game. You know, near enough all of the chess boards it's really hard to, uh, to make the pieces out. I mean um, right now it's not so hard because they're all set up properly. Um, but once all the pieces are moved about, it's um, it's very hard to be able to tell one piece from the other. You have to keep turning the board around all the time and squinting, trying to make them out. And a lot of people have had this problem with the game. Um, each piece looks really blurry, and there's um, you know there's not really any detail there, and there's there's Rule no excuse, H3. you know, because it's a it's a PS2 game, and plus the uh, the chess board it is it is a bit on the small side. So this is a uh, championships, and this is where I have my other major problem. Now, um, you have a 10 minute time limit and there doesn't seem to be any way to change that. Now, um, A4. if someone's time limit runs out while you're in the middle of a game, they lose. Um, Rook now A3. the problem is is that whoever you're playing against even this little kid that I'm playing against uh, I think is a girl C3. you know she's supposed to be a rookie they can make they can B3. make each move within a split second so even when even H3. like say after they've made 15 moves their time limit G3. will have only have gone down by about two seconds or something or three seconds that means if you want to have any hope of winning, if you if you don't want to lose on time, that means every time you make a move, you've got to do it within a split second. You've got absolutely no time to think at all, and um, and that just totally ruins the game. Um, B four. So I don't understand why they've done it like that. I mean, um, Rook B three. I mean, it's totally unrealistic. I mean, it's it's you know it's it's a little kid. 
she's made quite a few moves there and her time limit was still 9.59 it had taken her just one second to make all those moves that's it's just totally unrealistic but anyway this is the um, 3D battlefield chess and this isn't too bad you can choose between different enemies to, uh, to fight against but I'm just going to go with the first one here because it's probably the easiest now on this game mode you're actually able to zoom into the chessboard a lot more and it's, um, it's, it's kind of more easier to, to be able to tell the pieces apart um, it's also animated as well, so every time you move a piece, he'll walk. A4. Or um, if a piece takes another piece, it will show like a little fight animation. Like, it, you know, it, it, it might hit the other piece with a with a sword or, or whatever. So it's, that's pretty cool. Rook A3. But all in all, I am, I'm quite disappointed with this game. I mean, it's it's got a great tutorial, but I don't know. I think um, I think if I do find if I do find a better chess game, then I'll either still keep this one just for the tutorial, or I'll sell it on eBay. Um, so yeah, if if you if you enjoy playing chess, not that many people do. Um, but if you enjoy playing chess, then I wouldn't I I wouldn't recommend this game at all. Um, I'd only recommend it I'd only recommend it if you was looking for a great tutorial. So um, yeah, that's Chessmaster for the PS2. Um, thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you on the next one. Takes G4. Knight takes G4. Rook h3, bishop e7, rook g3, knight h6, rook h3, queen b8, Knight a3, king f8, g3, G4 Rook E3 Bishop F6 